Hello everyone, and welcome back to Games with Dialogue. I'm Dialogue, and we're playing more Regalia of Men and Monarchs. Last time, we started to do some side quests, as well as the Unity's quest to go kick out some elves. Thank you, and talk to the Unity. What do you guys have to say for yourselves? All right, I've sent for you because we need to talk. Your leader told me that the elves became a nuisance suddenly and without provocation, but apparently you haven't told me the whole truth. What happened to their oars? Oh, that. Oars? I wasn't there. Oars? Well... It clearly didn't happen. But I vaguely remember that they were moved. Well... Yeah, we kind of did. But why would you steal their stuff? Now they're unable to leave. It was self-defense. They'd attack us otherwise! We need to do sacrifice. Sacrifice? There's this rock in the woods, yeah? West of the grove, people say it's magic. That it is alive and grants wishes. My grandpa says it fell from the sky, it did! So we kind of give things to it and sing and dance and do stuff, you know, so that it may bless us, yeah. What? My reaction precisely. Oh, yeah, and we maybe may have given them oars to the rock, you know, so that it would destroy them elves before they could do harm. So you stole their oars and hoped that they would go away. <laughs> That's right, miss. You guys. And you haven't thought that taking their oars would make them unable to go away? Uh... Dear God. Again, what? Hey, don't blame us! We did all we could! Yeah, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs, you know? You shouldn't have done anything! Flawless logic. Uh... Never mind the fact that you gave the oars to a rock. Yeah, you know, folks have been doing it for quite some time. It's always been this way, so we figured, hey, why not? And it worked! The rock conjured up monsters! But they attacked us instead, so it kind of also didn't work, no? No. Monsters, the elves, everyone got all pissed and huffy, and then... And it did not work. And then you came to us. You made a mess, and we have to clean it up. Why am I not surprised? Yep. You gonna get those elves or what? No. No, I'm not. Gods, what a mess. I have to go fight through the monsters to mess. get the orbs. Understatement orbs. of the century. This is bat crap crazy. Oh, dear God. I'm so done with you guys. I'm just gonna let Gwendolyn beat you like she originally wanted Honestly, to do. Honestly, I get mind blown that something as utterly stupid and nonsensical as this ever happened. <sighs> All right, people, we'll handle this. Meeting adjourned. These are my subjects, people. Yeah, cool. People of the Unity, roll out! These are the people I want to rule. Well, maybe not want. Yeah, they're the only people who have settled in Rashtil. What do we do now? <sighs> what can we do? We go after the oars and after the... rock. Seriously, what the hell? In an idiotic turn of events, no truer words have ever been spoken. All right. Well, let's see. Um, hmm. Return to the Drachir Grove. I think it was only a day away. And defeat the Godstone. All right. It was only a day away, I think. So we'd have... 23. I want to help Signy. Who else did we help? There was Winter. That's right. But she's out? She's out. Alright. Well, can we waste a day? Hmm. Gunter! Gunter, what are we looking at here? Uh, Where are you? I always lose you. There you are. RP to the next level, but I can build your home? Question mark? 
Let's go see. Oh, and I want to give Alice that, um... Where is she? There she is. I already did it. Right. I already did it. Good. Good. Forward thinking that, man. Good. Uh, let's see. Um, Smithy. Yes, we can. Fantastic. Now we can get Gunter up and get the best kind of weapons. We also want to get Pathfinder Study up. You cannot upgrade. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. I forgot last time we did that already. Last time already happened, it did. Anything new here? We're still missing you guys. Yeah, all right. Winter? Yep. All right, let's go return this to Winter and talk to her a little bit. Hey, hey. girl. Oh, nice. Will this suffice? Oh, but absolutely. You never mentioned what kind of stone you wanted, you know. Yeah? So, I, uh, had some problems picking the correct stone? Rock solid! It's okay, really. You know what kind of stone this is, right? No? Oh. That's a gold room gem. It's popular in myths because it reacts naturally to the ebbs and flows of elements. Myself, I like to call it supercharged shiny amber. Pretty little thing, yeah? Indeed. Oh, that reminds me, before you go, could you wait a bit? Huh? I need a minute. Don't, just, don't, just stay there. Stay there. All right. One minute. Many hours later. Rock solid. Done. I had to sweat and improvise a little because of that whole racial, complete lack of creativity thing. But I think it may have actually worked out. Huh? What? You see, I've been thinking about how much I value our friendship. And how you don't have any bouldery friends of your own to return home to. And how maybe you feel lonely because of it and... Well, let's just say that cool stone was never meant for me. Here you go! A gift from the heart. A rock buddy, just for you! You noticed the rock was cleaned up, refined, and painstakingly enshrined a delicate silver framework with surprisingly well-chosen decorative touches. Additionally, there's a crude, smiling face drawn on the rock itself. Ah, oh, Winter, that's... sweet. Hey, that's what friends are for. Ouch! Friend-zoned. Hard. <laughs> Never mind that I had to bring the stone myself. Eh? No, nothing. Nothing. I appreciate the thought. Received golden memento. Would that have happened if I had done... Was that the only outcome to that quest, I wonder? If I had grabbed a different rock or done something wrong? But she's still not maxed. Well... Crud. That's at least another day. That's at least another two days. Should I go take care of the elves first and then come back? Yeah, yeah. Grinding out rep is not more important than completing that quest. Because I might not be able to complete the quest. And Shinji... Signy. <laughs> Shinji. Signy is still waiting for me to complete hers. So is Miri, actually. Right? Go to the Cave of Trials. No. Cold storage, that's the one. Alright, let's save. Again. Let's see what Golden Memento... Memento... was. Maybe I can sell some stuff at... Yeah. Sell some stuff with Haksun and maybe buy something useful. From the Alchemist. Hello, esteemed customer. Uh, shop. Let's see here. Trinkets? No, no, no. That was weapons, right? Alice had a flint. Yeah. One of those. One of those. One of those. And two of those. Well, what do you know? There was also the Dude Reaper. Yeah. And the Detonator. Hmm. I'll sell that one. I don't know why I'm bothering to keep them around, but, um... 
Alice doesn't need that, either. Or that. Wow, Alice had a lot of options that I'm not going to ever use. Okay. I just want to check on Esther real quick, because looking at that... Nope, she's got two of them. Okay. Um... I don't think Rial the Alchemist sells anything I want. Hmm. I could spend the day with Winter or Gunter. Winter or Gunter. Winter or Gunter. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do Gunter. Why not? He's almost at the end, right? I haven't gotten to his quest yet. That's right. If I pick up his quest, then when I go out, I might be able to do it. Winter, I've already completed the quest. It's just fin finalizing her max rep. And it's a canned response. All right, I'm not missing anything. Okay, 22 days. I'm getting kind of antsy here. Uh, there you are. Personal bond quest. Ugh. <sighs> all right, all right. All right. And he's gone. And he's gone! <sighs> Shoot. Winter's in, though. All right, so I'll just do that. I'll just do that. I'll just do that. Yes. Maybe. Come on. Commit to your actions. Hello, hello. How's the family? And how's the little guy I gave you? Um, spend time with her. Oh, always. I've got time for you. Except for on my days off. When I'm here in the shop and I don't want to talk to you at all. Canned response? Canned response. I still haven't looked at what the golden memento is, have I? I'm kind of all over the place at the moment, but let's take a moment here. Um, this one. Alright, do I see you in here anywhere? Hello? Oh, I need to sell these. I don't care about those. There it is. <laughs> it does nothing. It's a complete waste. Well, let's put it on then. <laughs> oh, no. Ugh, winter. You gave me something that's completely useless. I mean, I'm gonna... I could sell it, but I don't want to sell it. Let's save before we talk to Gunter. Alright. <laughs> so, like I was saying, a wrestling arena still isn't an option. Uh, I don't think so, Gunter. But how else are people going to bond together? What better way than that? Sorry. Oh. Well, what a shot anyways. Hey, okay. End of the scene. We're done. Oh, no. I'm grateful. Thanks for the walk. I really needed some fresh air. When surrounded by heat and fumes sometimes, a man's creative juices get stale and nothing pops. The heart deafens. And the hands become unable to work. You know what I mean, yes? I guess. I'm rarely stuck inside anywhere. Say hello, Heinrich. Heinrich, I'm home. Uh-oh. Heinrich? Funny. That never happens. Maybe he's asleep? I'll go and look. We could preoccupy him so. He ran away and I've got to go get him, right? Heinrich! Come here, boy! Heinrich! Heinrich! The Heinrich is missing! The I can't find him anywhere! Um... What? But how? What? Nope, he didn't care about that. Maybe I, I'm gonna have to restart this, then. I have no idea! This is insane! <laughs> Oh, sweet merciful gods, how is it even possible? 
How could I let this happen? It's not your fault, Gunter. I know the reason. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna have to reset that. Of course it is! I... I... Wait. Is it because... Was I overbearing? Or the affection? Or the gifts and clothes? My beautiful little Heinrich. I hate to be that guy. Ain't no point in breaking down now. We will find him, Gunther. Now he doesn't care about that either. Thank you. <laughs> I guess Gunther needs some tough love. He needs... Are you done? Heinrich, my poor, poor boy. I... No. We will find you. I swear. He needs some hard truths leveled at him, I guess. He's not one to be coddled. That's all right. I'll reset since I saved. But we'll we'll cut it here and then just continue from this point onward. All right. Well, I tried. I didn't get much better the second or third time around, actually. Heinrich seems to have left the town. Follow Heinrich's trail and go to the Dank Cave. All right. Um... Wait, wait. My mistake. Winter, where are you at? Two more days. Don't want to risk it. I'm willing to risk one more day, but... We'll probably leave her floating on the last confidant for next chapter. Just because that leaves me with 20 days left and I'm already nervous as it is that I'm going to get everything done. Would you like to spend the day with her? Sure. And you know it's because I missed one... Answer. Instead of a three arrow, I got a one arrow. And now I have to waste a day. Okay. Alright, let's leave. Well, let's save and then leave. I mean... <sighs> save. Thank you. And... I want to see... <laughs> yeah, we're never... We're never getting there. <laughs> uh, we're never getting there. Ah, jeez. Alright. Let's go out into the big wide world again. Come on, baby. Light, light, light the fire. Fire. Now. Yes. Justice! All right. Great old rock. That's probably two days, unless they decide to go here and then come back here, which I will not put it past this game to do to me. Signy. Well, if I go here and it's one, I have to go this way anyways, right? One, two, hopefully. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fingers crossed it's only two days. Okay. Alright, let's help Signy. I hope this is not a fight. I hope so. It's probably a fight. The entrance to the cave is just ahead. Are you ready? I am. The ancestors are with us. It's a fight. Ugh. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. What? Oh, you just jerked me around on the days wasted. Maybe I'll just... Ah, oh, I can't believe that. Come on. It's literally the same area. That's... Very aggravating. Very, very aggravating. <sighs> Unbelievable. Waste, waste four days for this when 
All right, whatever. Whatever, I'm glad I scheduled plenty of time for the rest of the month. Billows of nauseating miasma rise from the stale bog water as you step forth into the cave cavern. Not cave, cavern. The cavern's walls glisten with repugnant substances, rife with what looks like mismatched clusters of ooze, tangled ghoul weed, and crude precipitates of solidified mana. From within these growths, a sickly organic glow shines through, lighting the way deeper into the tunnel. Whatever fate awaits in that damp, disgusting gloaming, you, Signy the Kelra, will have to face it alone. The deeper you get, the more the tunnel morphs into a claustrophobic landscape of razor-sharp rocks, shattered geometry, and grinding passages. The neutral, murky tinge of the cavernous surroundings betrays little but your keen senses cannot be fooled. There is a clear impression of human presence in the air, like old, scabbed blood, or rather, a fading memory of many presences similar to yourself, scattered throughout many moons. The story presented to you by the duckling's kin seemed to steadily confirm itself. You certainly aren't the first hunter to navigate these caverns. The mesmerizing patterns of stone culminate in a surprisingly vertical chamber within the cavern. Like a talon of a colossal beast, a seemingly unconquerable pillar of a regular boulder rises from the bedrock, towering above everything in sight. As you follow it with your gaze, you notice oddities, man-made indents, notches, scratches, sometimes even tribal festoons affixed to its surface. The curious stone spire leads deep into the darkness above, into gloom and uncertainty, way beyond the limits of your sight. It seems only, it seems like the only way to proceed is to go up. Sure. The climb into darkness begins, one step after another. You push your bodily frame upward, onward, toward whatever awaits at the top. You struggle and slip and scrape, but your determination never falters. The ancestors are watching. A hunter does not back down from their prey. You don't stop. You won't stop. You cannot stop. Ascending the spire, you find yourself in a chamber very unlike the one you left behind. Glowworms skitter around the camped surface like a tiny organic firmament bleating as soon as you step onto the overgrown cavern floor. Stalks of lichen, flowstone, and acrid shrubbery mar your passage, irritating the skin. The air is heavy with fragrances. It smells of musk and herbs and gore. A bright red scar similar to a painted serpent or a lightning bolt runs wide along the ceiling. Something about this place makes you feel weird, inhuman, but also, oddly enough, nostalgic. A stick, a simple charred stick, catches your eye. Its unassuming shape attached to what looks like a damaged clay goblet or a brazier. The most striking feature, however, is the skull impaled on the stick. After a moment of confusion, you realize it's not meant to be one particular skull, or any skull, really. What you see before you is a composition of many individual parts. Jaws of a viper, tusks of a boar, horns of an oryx, a faceless mosaic of creatures frozen in time, a house of spirits. Approach. The skull leers at you in silent judgment, its razor-sharp teeth forming a disturbing sneer. I am Akelra. I have come to find my totem. Bow before the effigy. Put your hand in the goblet. Put your hand on the teeth. Put your hand on the skull. Poke the skull on a stick with a stick. I am Kelra. You are answered with silence. Hmm. 
Put your hand on the skull. Put your hand in the goblet. Hmm. Put your hand on the skull. You put your hand on the skull, but nothing happens. Put your hand on the teeth. Ooh, ah, I'm glad that click didn't register. Put your hand in the goblet? Put your hand on the teeth. You put your hand on the teeth, and they prove to be just as sharp as they look. The instant your finger slides on one of the fangs, a little red streak of blood appears, dripping lazily from the cut. Also, you're bleeding now. <laughs> put your hand in the goblet. Oh, blood drips down the goblet as you put your hand inside. Something begins to stir within, like an imprint of hungry, ancient fury, sending vibrations throughout your body. You hear a hiss, and a thick, pungent vapor fills the air, engulfing your senses. The light of the glowworms dims and shudders, blending before your eyes into a twinkling mass of organic hysteria. The shadows grow longer, stranger. And suddenly, you realize that you are not alone anymore. A faded, dark shape rises from the overgrowth. It does not move, but you are certain it is watching you. I am Kelra. The shape wobbles and twitches, almost completely disappearing for a split second. A thought, a voiceless whisper of a message, materializes within your mind, resounding from within. Signy of the Kelra, daughter of Arbron. I am ready to be tested, old ones. Our lives are our tests, Signy of the Kelra. A life is a trial by itself, a journey. And yours marks you distinctly. You came seeking your totem. But the answer should be evident by now. Something blinks within the shape. Can you not feel it? The voice confuses. Elaborate. Oh no, please. That voice is already dumb enough as it is. You are the unyielding, the unbroken, the undaunted. The shape seems to be fluctuating wildly, changing into various monstrous silhouettes with each word. You seek a totem, an aspect that will serve confirmation for your existence. But it has been found, in spite of your attempts, not because of them. More confusion. Look, the incomplete rite that you have been undertaking for so long. What does it prove, if not tenacity? You're a stubborn creature, Signy. Do you not relent? You do not submit, and you do not feel fear. As he speaks, something begins to grow within you, a sound, a thump of a thousand drums, each a primal growl chasing your heartbeat. You try to say something, but you cannot. Your limbs begin to feel heavy. Before it dissipates, the shape offers one final whisper. The beast cometh. You drop to your knees, overpowered by this unfamiliar beat of your senses. Something stirs in the shadows beyond your sight, grunting, growling, no doubt approaching you. You struggle to get your head up, to prepare. You raise your head, but there is no monster, no colossal predator in sight. Instead, you find yourself face to face with a ratel, staring at you quizzically. Your totem your beast. Oh, no. The animal nods sagely at you, as if in acceptance. Signy of the Kelra, it utters, its words clear and human, undaunted. 
It pauses, its eyes betraying signs of curiosity. It seems to be awaiting your response. May we never falter on our path. You blink, and the instant your eye, you open your eyes, the spirit is gone. The chamber is still once more. At last, the rite has been completed. Fantastic. And we got some level up from that. Fantastic. What else did we get? Quests have been updated. Return to Signy. Okay. And... What am I looking at here? Eh, yeah, it's probably one of these over here. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Party level 15. Right. Um, well, that is, I think we're actually bumping up against the, how long the episode should go, but I don't want to go back in, because that's just going to waste time saving. So let's, we are going to get into a fight here. I'm almost positive. So, let's stop for the time being, and we'll pick it up next episode with the Elves and the Unity nonsense. Until next time, everyone, stay safe, and God bless you.